Hello and welcome to the Philippines. There's a huge storm, Typhoon Bissing, international name Surigay. It has been strengthening in the warm waters, and there are different models predicting different paths, but basically it's going to affect the, uh, the eastern Visayas and up into Luzon. There's some areas under some uh, uh, heavy rain and wind warnings. Uh, Coast Guard says there's over 2,000 uh, 2, people stranded in ports. Uh, many ships and ferries uh, looking for safety in the various ports. High seas, rough and very high seas in uh, many areas. Here's a visual map showing the uh, tropical cyclone uh, wind signal. Level 1 and 2 are up presently. There probably will be some areas that will receive uh, signal 3 as well. Signal 5 being the strongest. You can see the northern tip of Cebu Island is included here, and Camotes Islands. And this map uh, from there again, the European, I believe, ECMWF ensemble shows the probabilities of the wind speed uh, along the uh, coast and in the Philippines. So even though the eye of the storm probably will not hit the, uh, the Philippines directly, the land area, uh, they will. There will be a a large force of wind and waves along that eastern coast in particular. Here's a list of the uh, signal warning areas as of uh, about uh, noon on, uh, on April 18th, uh, Sunday here. Signal 2 is 61 to 120 kilometer per hour winds prevailing or expected in the next 24 hours. So. Uh, Catanduines, uh, Northern Samar, Eastern Samar, Samar, signal 1, 30 to 60 kilometers uh, winds in the next 36 hours, uh, areas of Luzon. Uh, you can see there uh, Visayas, Biloran, Southern Leyte, Northern portion of Cebu, and down even into Mindanao, the uh, northeast corner of Mindanao. And here's two satellite images to give you a little idea of how large that is. I believe it's reached super typhoon uh, category. So here we'll bounce over to Pegasus site, the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical, Astronomical Services Administration of the Philippines. And we now have the super typhoon brushing the side of the Philippines here. Uh, Cebu City, right about this area here, level one, I believe. Got Bohol here, um, Davao City, you've got uh, Mindanao here, and Surgao City up in this area. Got some flood warnings there. And as you go up here, you get uh, severe region eight, eastern Visayas, severe flood advisory. Northern Samar, Leyte, Eastern Samar, Southern Leyte, Samar, and Biloran. And as you go up here, General Flood Advisory, uh, Bacol region, Camarines Sur, Camarines Norte, Catanduanes, Albay, Masbate. And what you have, you see this dotted line. This is the boundary of the Philippine area of responsibility. Zoom in here a little bit more and you can see a, a live shot of the, um, I believe, radars uh, situation that they have out here. Uh, so Cebu City right down in this area down here. Uh, you've got Dumaguete was way down here in the, in the bottom area. Uh, Rojas City over here, Panay, Iloilo City. Uh, for a long time I used Firefox as my uh, as my browser, I'm now using Vivaldi, and I've really gotten to like it. I've got this little slider down here. I can increase uh, the size of websites and zoom in on things much easier than uh, I can using other methods. Anyway, up here you've got uh, uh, Camarina Sur, uh, Camarina Norte, um, Catanduanes over here. It's also very common as you go uh, as you go north for these typhoons to uh, hit uh, 
Cagayan Valley up here hit this whole area and go across the north. And then we have these Betatuanas, Betat, Betanes Islands up here. We have the Betanes Islands up here that often get hit uh, pretty hard as well. So here we're at uh, Pagasa again website, the government organization, and uh, this 2020 tropical cyclone tracks. And uh, you can go down here and just get an idea where things track. You should take a look at this, and uh, if you're planning on moving in one of these areas that is often hit by typhoons, you might uh, kind of wonder about how, how high you want to go. Do you want that beachfront property? Uh, so you have to deal with that, uh, the wind and the flooding. Anyway, this was in May 2020, uh, over here, June 2020. Um, there again, it, it goes in um, along the eastern Visayas, affected that. Here, came in more directly across the uh, National Capital Region, uh, Manila area. Uh, here it went up these Batanes Islands, up through this uh, northern Luzon area. Here again it cut through north and we probably had some effect from the uh, winds out of that. Um, these things do all sorts of things. They are, uh, they are hard to predict and up until the last day or two before they come on land, they have a hard time predicting just where they're going to go. Here again, stayed off uh, August 2020. These are storms, severe tropical storm here. It often curves to the right. And uh, yeah, they can do all sorts of things. They can form in different uh, parts. They usually come in off the east, from the east, and uh, come in this way, often swerve up this way. Uh, tropical Depression Ophel went right through the uh, Samar area and the National Capital Region area there. Pepito, the international name is over here on the right. Quinta, again, went right through that uh, Southern Luzon, National Capital, Manila area. Another one, Super Typhoon Raleigh. Goni was the international name, right through that. Uh, they got hit pretty hard, uh, that was in October. And also here, October. So two, two, two very large, uh, caused a lot of uh, flooding. And here we have one there again went up and had some major damage to Taiwan up here, I believe, and the Patanes Islands. Another one, Tonio, Tonio, went right through the, and this was in November 2020, right through that uh, Manila area. Vicky, one of the few that hit Mindanao, uh, they occasionally get typhoon, typhoons across there, but uh, it's, it's much more common for them to go up north here. And another one that went through the uh, Manila area and, and the uh, the eastern uh, uh, southeastern uh, Luzon area, Ulysses, in November 2020. And as you can see down here, these uh, these storms usually uh, come out. They they are uh, low pressure systems that form out in the ocean, and oftentimes when they get the warmer waters in the uh, the seas, the ocean around the Philippines, they gain in strength and they're hard to predict. Start out as tropical depressions, go to tropical storms, severe tropical storm, typhoon and super typhoons. Now one thing I've noticed is that the, the type of clouds that we see here at Cebu City uh, are different when, when we are having some influence from typhoons off the coast. Different types of clouds. You can see the, the different patterns in the clouds that we uh, see here. It's been getting darker. It's uh, about 2:30 in the afternoon on the 18th here today, so we're starting to be affected by that. It's been getting a little bit darker through the day. 
but we will not uh, see any major impact in Cebu City. We'll, we might see some uh, additional rain. We might see a, a little bit more breezes, but uh, we are not under that any of those warning categories. I've seen other storms come through here, uh, not uh, typhoon category, that have dumped a whole lot more rain and caused a lot more flooding than uh, a couple of the typhoons that have actually come through this area. So it it really has a lot to do with each specific storm and their characteristics and where you live. It might, uh, you know, one, one area might be uh, prone to flooding. And if you're in those areas, you should be especially aware. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you next time.